going to silence my laptop over here, which I have on, so I can more easily keep track of any chat, which I'm not expecting, but just in case. This is going to end up going on YouTube or something, so if you're watching this after the fact, uh, thank you. If you're watching it now, thank you even more. This is Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations, and kind of interesting that this is no longer on the store to purchase, apparently due to some kind of licensing issue. So, sadly, I don't think we're going to get to be able to play the final episode, which is a Marceline episode, but... Uh, we'll get everything else. And... All I really know is that it's a point-and-click style adventure game. With a little bit of combat. Um, I played the demo like a couple years ago. And I messed around with it a little bit earlier today just to... Kind of get some of the audio levels oh, less horrible. Hello. Good to see you again. I reckon you've come for some more gray balls. Oh, Greble Babel, I wasn't expecting you today. I was planning on play babeling games on my viewer device, but I would hate for you to come all this way for nothing. Oh, I have an incredible thought idea. We can do both. Instead of watching the gray balls, you'll play Babel. I'll drop you into five playable Grables, all relating to the same theme, to explore and puzzle out. Okay, grab your game input units, Mabel, and get set. I'll be back at the end to see if you can Grable out the theme. <laughs> Find anything to do yet, Bimo? Yeah, I'm bored. Not yet. Huh. Dance party! Hey, that's the record mom and dad used to play for me when I couldn't sleep. Don't break it! Ow! Nice going, Bimo. You wrecked the record player. Where did this stuff come from? My tree hole. Huh? You know how you got that place in your head where you keep all that mind stuff you don't want to deal with? My vault. Yep. Well, I got a bunch of stuff too. Only it's real stuff. But I still don't want to deal with it. So, I just jam it in my tree hole. Sure is a lot of stuff. Yeah, I like stuff. Just don't like putting it away. <laughs> Ow! Hey, Magic what's man. this? That's something that used to belong to Mom and Dad, back when they used to investigate monsters and stuff. They printed out adventures and missions for them to go on. Cool. Think it still works? Nah, I don't think so. It's pretty old. Bimo made the old monster machine go. Yay, Bimo! Whoa, check it out. Looks like one of those missions you were talking about. You know what I'm thinking? That I need a bigger tree hole? No, man. We should start using this thing to find adventures to go on, like Mom and Dad. Hey, yeah. Mom and Dad would want that. And you know how much I like police work. Kind of weird this thing just showed up and started working, though. I don't even remember putting it in my tree hole. Psh, whatevs. Weird stuff happens to us all the time. Oh, yeah. So what are we waiting for? Let's get all up in the investigating biz. Finn and Jake investigations. Yeah, boy. Yay! Bimo is an investigator. Um, I don't think you're ready for field work yet, Bimo. You could be our secretary. Yay! Bimo is a secretary. What should I do first, boss? How about cleaning up the office? This place is a mess. And see if you can fix the record player. It's totally jacked up. Can't have a post-investigation dance party if the record player's jacked up. <sighs> Look, there's a new case available on the ticker type. Babel Nable, it's Cooper here again. You Grables are probably new to playable Grables, I reckon. I'll offer you some help from time to time. 
I would say you don't get your mind labels too confused. <laughs> would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Cuba? Nah, man. Griffin and Jake, we don't need no tutorial. Get out of here. Yeah, poor Bimo. The, the hero we need, and sadly not the one we'll get. We saw Bimo Noir. We we know Bimo is real good at this investigatory stuff. So from what I can tell, you pretty much play as Finn, and you use Jake as like an interactable. See how I can switch to Jake there at the top? Um, when there's something I need Jake for, I use him, and when I need to whack something with the sword, I switch to that. That's not gonna work anytime soon. Tick, tick, tick. So the way these icons work, there we go. X and circle, uh, presumably we'll have square and triangle things to do um, when we have more items probably. I can see a long way through that. All's quiet in the Candy Kingdom. Hmm, nothing much happening in the Ice Kingdom today. Dude, let it go. Play Princess just isn't into you. And we can kind of tell what time frame we're looking at here. What are you looking for, man? We go to the Candy Kingdom all the time. Flame Princess just is not into me right now. It's very sad. Looks hot. Let's touch it. Youch! I have to stop touching hot stuff. Ninja stars! Ow. Pointy. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're just gonna touch all the dangerous More things junk. today. We've got lots of junk. Hey! Somebody took our rope! Squeaky! So yeah, one of the cool things about this is that it's got voice acting from all of, at least most of the major characters in the show, which is a nice thing. I never even heard of the developer before. I, I forget who even made this game, but like they really done nothing of note outside of a bunch of licensed games and um, Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard, I think it was, which is like a parody. Maybe you should get a real bed. Shooter game. I can't sleep in Jake's bed. I wouldn't fit. But it, from what I played of the demo, um, and what we're kind of seeing here, it seems like if the developers weren't fans of the show, they worked with people from the show to to write the dialogue and include Easter eggs and stuff. It's um, it feels really authentic. Like there is sure have a, lots of candles. A connection Ow. to the show. Yep. Let's just poke more things. So that's one of the things I like about it already. That radio really needs an antenna. People missing from the Candy Kingdom. PB denies any knowledge, but in Starchy's opinion. Uh, Starchy. I really turned a corner on that guy. Glad I never need a desk. This thing's a mess. Yep, nothing but junk. I think Dad would be proud of us, Jake. I don't think I can touch all the candles. I would love to touch all of them. And I thought my tree hole was full of junk. Jake, that sounds dirty. Yeah, sadly, that's just a drawer. Okay, let's go downstairs. This is just like a little hub thing. I don't really think there's anything to find here. Just a lot of stuff to look at, but we'll, we'll hear what they have to say about it all. 
I like that Jake does that when he's in your way. I think this lets you breathe underwater. Not that it ever go underwater. And all our loot is gone. You know, I'm having second thoughts about how we wasted all of our money. Sure is dusty in here. Ugh, spiders. We have a great view of the pond and stuff. Guess the water nymphs are sleeping. Dang it. I wanted to party. Jake sure did love that burrito. <laughs> Everything burrito. I still miss you. So <laughs> much. <laughs> Let's move on. This is getting awkward. Don't use this much, but with having plumbing and all. Say. Yurt. Yurt. That's fun to say. Is that fun to type too? That guy was well armed. Yikes! Armor. Very... Hmm. Sturdy. It's my weapons locker, where I keep my swords. Okay, let's get some swords. Scarlet. I've had that sword for a long time. Scarlet transforms into the 4D sword when it's powered up. It's pretty powerful. Okay, that's all we get for now. Freaking magic man. Probably took the rest of my swords. What a doucher. Most people don't realize that skulls make such good candle holders. Oh, I want to grab that. Yeah, I can just turn it on and off. remember how I got that. Must be in my vault. Yeah, probably better off there. Let's let's get out of here. It's kinda beat up, but at least it still freezes stuff. Yep, still cold. Nothing like fresh ground coffee, huh Jake? I'm not gonna use that coffee. That was wasteful. Jeez. You know, you can learn a lot from Jake. That dog is just full of wisdom. Yuck! How long has it been since we cleaned that stove? That's a really good place to keep our bubble collection. Yo, what did do, Bimo? Good old Bimo. Secretaries should be seen, not heard. Man, be most quick. He's real good at the secretary thing already. Maybe I'll take a bath later. Sink. Yep, sure is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't gotta go. Okay, I think we've pretty much touched all the things. Oh, dude, I wonder if the yurt has a sink. Let's go where we're supposed to go. 
suppose we could get to the investigation part of this game. I don't know if you can hear that, but this thing is like making all kinds of noise in my headphone. Just the one. Look, there's a new case available on the ticker type. Our first case. Candy Kingdom on lockdown after citizens vanish. Whoa, Jake, we better get to the Candy Kingdom. It sounds serious. Um, how is the audio, by the way, before we like get into actual game stuff? Is it okay? Time to watch anyway. Okay, cool. Our first gates! Candy Kingdom on lockdown after citizens vanish. Whoa, Jake! We better get to the Candy Kingdom. It sounds serious. Uh, should I bump anything up? Because we have options. That's good. Okay. Let me know if anything sounds off and all. I'll screw around with it. Our first case! Candy Kingdom on lockdown after citizens vanish. Whoa, Jake! We better get to the Candy Kingdom. It sounds serious. Aw, uh, yeah. Get to go see my girl. Good old peebs. I've got a tutorial thingy for you. You want to see it? Um, I think this is going to teach us how to fight these banana guards for no real reason, so... Yes. Playable Grables are all about exploring. Wherever you are, make sure you check out every corner. You can touch and grab and use things in the world by pressing the interact label control on your input device. All the thingies you pick up go into your inventory. You can put one of them in your hand by opening the inventory and choosing it. When you have something in your hand, you can use it on other things in the world. That includes your stretchy dog friend, Jake. Use him on interact spots to get to hard to reach places like the castle moat. He can do other stuff for you too. It never hurts to experiment with using Jake on things. When you experiment with the Jake. world, you should be nice and talk to them. Just walk up and select the speech bubble thingy. Okay, we will do that. So yeah, this is one of the things I think is a good design choice about the game as well. Don't tell me how Jake works. At this point, even Jake doesn't know how Jake works. Um, but the, the way the mission structure is laid out, uh, the, the Great Wolf thing makes it so we've got like these self-contained stories, which I think is good because it's going to eventually allow us to like go to all these different places and see all these different things without trying to force them all together in one story in a way that doesn't make sense. So theoretically, I think that'll be cool. Guards at the gate must be serious. How come the princess has shut down the Candy Kingdom? What's going on? A bunch of people have disappeared, including Peppermint Butler. The princess told us to make sure nobody gets in or out without proper ID. But I'm Finn. Also, you know it's bad when Peppa is gone because that dude is soups evil. So if something got to him, we're, we're kind of screwed. We need to get inside and help PB. Can you let us through? Um, I'm gonna need to see some ID first. But you know who we are. We've been here a zillion times. That's exactly what you'd say if you were trying to sneak in. I need to see your ID or you're not getting in. Um, we don't have any ID. Sorry, Ken. 
If you guys don't have ID, how do I know who you and Jake are? Bye, Ben. <laughs> Bye, Jake. He's just hanging out with Death. That could be. This this could be a whole lot of nothing. Or this could be Peppermint Butler's fault. Guards at the gate. Must be serious. Uh, let's see what this guy What's up? Say. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, can I just walk through? PB doesn't usually close the gate. Something big must be happening. Because I'm Finn, man. I let's better just... not. Princess wouldn't like me messing up her gate. Uh, Jake. Nah, I don't think so. Alright, fine. I'll play by your rules, banana guard. Maybe I should get Jake to help me. Hey, did you see that? We can stop those guys. How come? The princess said keep people out of the castle, not the moat. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, be careful down there. There's lots of broken glass. And one of the grates on those pipes that lead into the castle is loose and rusty. Hmm. Broken glass? Somebody should clean this up. The grate's really rusty on this one. You're gonna need something to break it with. Like Jake said. That won't work. Oh. I bet it would have. I mean, you could have tried. Wee, 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 Wait! Wee, I didn't do anything! Wee, wee. I swear! I don't even have a criminal record! Somebody help! Jake! Abraka Daniel's in trouble! We have to help him! Would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Cuber? Cuber, are you gonna have me beat up these banana guards? Because I'm Grable super into that. Aren't all about combat, but sometimes you have to fight. Just press your attack button thingy to swing your sword. When you get enough hits without the bad guys hitting you, you can activate special sword powers and Jake battle form. At the end of the fight, you get treasure for your treasure room at the treehouse. The better you fight, the more treasure you get. Oh yeah! Give me that loot. Okay, uh, what's my attack button? How do I do things? Ow! Okay, so X is dodge. Square is attack. Okay, triangles block. Ow. Yeah. yeah, boy! I think our work here is done. This is about all the treasure we can carry. Um, okay, we'll continue. That, that could have gone better, but it's okay. We didn't want to beat him up too bad. That's enough, you two. Abraka Daniel is under arrest for kidnapping my citizens. What? No way! Abraka Daniel wouldn't hurt a fly! Like, literally. For a wizard? Kinda lame. Exactly. I'll be in the castle surveillance room if you want to see food. Meanwhile, Abraka Daniel is going to the dungeon. Guards! Take him away! Don't worry, Abraka Daniel. This isn't over. Finn and Jake Investigations will totally clear your name! PP's hair looks so sparkly in this. Just how I imagined her. Yeah, I'm not going back through there. Candy sewage is still sewage. Gross. Mm -hmm. 
so one thing I do remember from the demo is that there's a part up here that like either I'm really stupid or it like wasn't well explained. Um, we'll, we'll see when we get to it, but when you start actually trying to like investigate things and put the clues together, there was there's something that wasn't. I don't know. Well, we'll see if I'm just an idiot or if it didn't Ooh, quite work. The houses in the Candy Kingdom don't go stale. Skin looks kind of gray. Girl, not on my screen. PBB looking good on my screen. That was that's creepier than I meant it to be. The bees are building a hive. Better let them finish. Hmm. Chet keeps his door closed. That's just sensible, I guess. Yo, Chet, this let me house in. This has been claimed in the name of the gnomes. What? Go away! Don't bust up Chet's door. We can find another way in. I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe Jake could do something here. I bet he could. The chimney leads into the house, but we can't fit through. Well, Jake could. I should drop something in there to scare away the gnomes. Why would I do that? Give it up, man. Oh, all right. I think we see where this is going. But the bees are not finished yet. I do like the aesthetic of this game. I think it all looks pretty good for like a 3D version of Adventure Time. I think they did a good job of like translating that to a, uh, a 3D game. Sure are a lot of banana guards on duty today. Hey man, where did PB go? We really need to talk to her. The security room. She's been spending most of her time in there ever since everybody started disappearing. Go on in. See you later. Thanks, banana guard. And thanks for being cool about me beating up your friends. Well, that door leads into PB's castle. That guy's guarding Peppermint Butler's room. This room is a crime scene, and I can't let you guys in unless PB says it's okay. Um, what's this room? In true video game fashion, we're gonna go to all the places we're not supposed to go first. I don't think that guy's gonna let us in the dungeon. Sorry, Finn. If you wanna get into the dungeon, you'll have to prove that Abraka Daniel is innocent. Man, he's Africa Daniel. He's just. He's a lame o man. Even the kitchen's being guarded? Hey, Finn. Hey, Jake. Sorry, kitchen's off limits. You need to get permission from the princess. Those doors lead to the royal foyer. Ooh, let's go to the foyer. It's locked. Dang it. That's the door to the security room. Oh, Glob, what is going on in here? Wizards rule. Only a wizard would write something like that. Foyer. Yurt. Banana guard. We should talk to him. Hey, banana guard. What happened in here? I don't know. I was on my snack break when it happened. I was only gone for a minute, and when I came back, everything was busted. Do you think whoever broke in got caught on camera? No way, Finn. And even if they did with the equipment broken, there's no way to see. Chamomile tea. Princess Bubblegum likes to drink this stuff when she's stressed out. Wow, PB really looks stressed. Does she? She she looks pretty chill about this whole thing, I have to say. Finn and Jake investigations to the rescue. 
What can we do to help? Guess this kind of thing does happen a lot. Thanks for coming, guys. Sorry I had to arrest your friend. Why did you arrest Abraka Daniel? There's no way he's a kidnapper. Sorry, Jake, but the facts don't lie. Facts, huh? What are these so-called facts? Yeah. Well, someone trashed the cameras so that nothing would be recorded. We also found a note that says wizards rule. Abrick hmm. Daniel is the only wizard anyone saw in the Candy Kingdom last night. It doesn't take a genius to see that he's the kidnapper. Ah, oh, peebs, come on. Come on, peebs. Girl, I always try to defend you, but... Come on, it's Abrick Daniel. Can we talk to Abrick Daniel? I think it's important to hear his side of the story, too. No way. He's being held in the dungeon, and he's going to stay there unless someone can prove him innocent. What'll it take to prove he's innocent? Look for clues and interview people. You can start in Peppermint Butler's room across the hall. He was one of the kidnapped people. I'll be here if you find anything. And you just know there's some crazy shiz in Peppermint Butler's Looks room. Looks like the security monitors won't do us any good. They're totally jacked up. All right. Hmm, must be on snack break. I've got a tutorial thingy for you. You want to see it? Starchy. That traitor. I, I don't trust that man. <laughs> Look at that mustache. He, he is clearly evil, and not the good kind of evil like Pet Butt. You can pick up a lot of thingies you find while exploring. Pick something up by interacting with it. You should pick up everything you can. You never know if you might need it later. All right, let's start with this guard. These guys are everywhere. What's the scoop, B guard? Ben, I think I discovered something really important. There are no strawberry jelly beans. Not one. Pretty crazy, mm. huh? Okay, we'll remember that. It's Starchy. He probably knows something. Oh, I bet he does. Starchy, you suck. Hiya. See Did you see something? Well, no, but as I was sliding a pamphlet under Peppermint Butler's door, I heard a struggle inside. Sounded like a kidnapping. I like the picture there on the wall behind the banana guard. <laughs> Starchy, you know anything about the missing candy people? Son Maybe of a so. year. Last night, that. Starchy was walking the halls, sliding pamphlets for the Veritas Brigade under people's doors. PB's own castle. Starchy. Dude, I used to think you were cool. You heard Peppermint Butler getting kidnapped and you didn't help him? Sounds kind of fishy. With you, Jake. Now hold on! I wanted to help. I really did. I tried to bust through the door when he called for help, but, well, Starchy's not as young as he used to be. Thanks, Starchy. This has been very helpful. You betcha. I just hope you two can get to the bottom of this mess. Oh, I bet you don't hope we can get to the bottom of this starchy. Because it ain't going to be good for you. Candelabra. Nice. Needs candles, though. Candles. Hmm. That's not working. That ain't working, dude. Nah, I don't think so. Hey, Gumball Guardian. It's one of so. the Gumball Guardians. I wonder if he saw something. Hey, GG! Did you guys notice anything suspicious on the night of the kidnapping? Well, we saw Africa Daniel enter the Candy Kingdom, but we didn't think anything of it. Not long after that, I heard a crash and saw him sneak into Peppermint Butler's room through this window. Hmm. Did you see any other wizards around? No, just Africa Daniel. Look at this mess. He must have spilled those jelly beans when he broke in. Hmm. Yeah, that's... 
Not looking good for Abracataniel, but I'm sure he was trying to help. I just don't believe this guy would do anything evil. Maybe the kidnappers tracked this in. The kidnappers had to have tracked this in here, Jake. Yeah! Maybe they left a leaf trail. We could follow it and see how they got in and out. There were a bunch of leaves in the hallway earlier, but I swept them up. They led toward the kitchen. Nice! We should go check it out. You won't be able to go anywhere until you solve the mystery, but even then you might run into trouble. The guard inside the kitchen is really strict. Here's my business card. If he stops you when you're in the kitchen, just give it to him and say Guard 182 says it's cool. Sweet! Thanks, BG-182! Man, 182, you're my kind of dude. Somebody spilled jelly beans all over the floor, and onto those pamphlets. Hmm. So I think this is the thing that confused me when I first played the demo. If they spilled the jelly beans onto the pamphlet, then that means Starchy was here first. But he did put a ton under the door for some reason, so... I don't know, maybe he was still here when it happened? Hmm, some kind of circle thingy. Starchy's certainly guilty of something. Treason. If not kidnapping. And what did 182 say? It was the strawberry jelly beans that are all gone? Hmm. Me? Evidence. Strange circle thingy. Okay. Oh, so yeah, the the item system's a little funky for me to try to navigate. Um, how do I? Okay, so we'll have to combine that with something, and that's how that will work. I have half a mind to just go turn in Starchy right now. Even the kitchen's being guarded? Hey, Finn. Hey, Jake. Sorry, kitchen's off limits. You need to get permission from the princess. Do I? Yeah, I think I do. Jake, I'm trying to talk to the princess here. Finn, Jake. How's the investigation going? Did you find anything? Not yet. We're still working on it. Um, okay. Well, come back when you have something to show me. How bad is it? I don't think I have it set up for there to be like a huge delay. Um, there shouldn't be any delay, as far as I'm aware. So that's just that's just Twitch being Twitch, I guess. Twenty-seven second. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought. I don't know if that's normal or not. Hello. So that guy told me I have to ask PB to get in. 
but that was not an option. Even the kitchen's being guarded? Excuse me, sir. Hey, Finn. Hey, Jake. Sorry, kitchen's off limits. You need to get permission from the princess. Hmm, can I show her the leaf? Yeah, okay. I didn't think it was that long, but... I suppose it is. Alright, so what do I do to... convince her? Combined. Then, mm. Jake, how's the investigation going? Did you find anything? I think Jake and I found all the evidence we need to solve Whoa, the mystery no. and clear Abraka Daniel's name. That's not accurate. Of course. How could I have missed it? Then you totally proved that Abraka Daniel is innocent. Um, we did. Of course. Here, let me walk you through it. Wait, what? What fell on the floor while the kidnapping was taking place? Um, jelly beans. Jelly beans? They were all over the place. Yes, but they couldn't have fallen first. Try again. Okay, see, so yeah, this is where I got confused last time, too, I think. The note was there? No? Why don't I remember a note? Do you remember a note? I don't remember a note. Well, the wizards ruled, but that... We don't know where they found that. Because that's hung up in here. I think the jelly beans were on a chair? Um, a chair? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Try again. Alright, we'll just go through this. Starchy's pamphlet. He was sliding it under Peppermint Butler's door when he heard the kidnapping. Yes, exactly. And what item do we know fell on the floor when Abraka Daniel entered the room? Yeah, see, the pamphlet thing, that's weird because, like... They fell, but he was sliding them under the door. Okay, and then the jelly beans fell. The jelly beans. They were on top of the pamphlets, so they had to have fallen after the pamphlet was already there. Right. Okay, so the jelly beans were on top of the pamphlet. What does that mean? How do we know that? Am, am I just dumb, or... Exactly. Probably orchestrated by Starchy. Go, oh, hi, Sarah. Um. Well, we know that Peppermint Butler is a terrible housekeeper. Well, we don't know that. It might have been nice before. I, I'm gonna blame Starchy. That Starchy is the kidnapper. You know. I never have trusted that guy. Huh? No, of course not. Aww. Let's start again. I tried. What fell on the floor while the kidnapping was Aw, oh, man, we gotta start over? Okay. Okay. Bam. Starchy's pamphlet. He was sliding it under Peppermint Butler's door when he heard the kidnapping. Yes, exactly. And what item do we know fell on the floor when Abraka Daniel entered the room? The, jelly the jelly beans. They were on top of the pamphlets, so they had to have fallen after the pamphlet was already there. Right. Okay, so the jelly beans were on top of the pamphlet. 
What does that mean? Hmm. Paper is heavier than jelly beans? I don't know that that's true. All right, chat. What, what do we think about this? Ah, uh, we need Bimo here. Bimo would know. Daniel had to come in after the kidnapping. Otherwise, the jelly beans he knocked over would have been under the pamphlet. Exactly. I'm sorry I doubted you, Finn. Abraka Daniel is free to go. Go down to the dungeon, get the key from the guards, and release him. It's important that you stay inside the Candy Kingdom until the crisis is over, though. The Gumball Guardians will zap anybody who tries to leave while we're on lockdown. Whoa. Yeah! Sweet! Okay, so it's not just me, right? That that seemed a little convoluted, and we, we made some assumptions about things that... Isn't body snatch? Oh, no. You might be onto something here. We, we're just, like, going down the rabbit hole now. PP is acting a little bit odd. They're just kind of staring off at nothing. She's got like the smile on her face, like. Jake jumped to conclusions constantly. You're right, you're right. I need to play the characters. Alright, let's go in here because we can. I can smell it. All right, Jake. African Daniel can wait. Doesn't seem safe to have this stuff around food. Hands off the science stuff, dude. Science is not your thing. Yeah, you right. Soap. Bubbly, bubbly soap. Hmm. PB stove is nicer than ours. Well, she is royalty. A faucet. No sink is complete without one of these. Water. You're making some great soapy water, but it's just going down a drain. Would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Cuber? All right, Cuber. What you got for me? Sometimes you have to put two things together to make something new that can help you grable your way through a puzzling puzzle. You combine thingies on your inventory screen. Just use the add control to put each item in a slot. Then press the combine button to turn two old thingies into one new thingy. Not everything can be combined together, but it never hurts to try. Especially when you feel like you're stuck. You can combine items with Jake the same way. Sometimes you need to do this when Jake can't grable something on his own. That's the guy who tells the grables. A plastic bottle. The kidnappers must have dropped it. There's always a lesson at the end of the grables. Wow! Food that isn't candy or cake. Yeah, what's that doing here? Okay, that's the guy we showed the card to. I Good don't books. know why yet. We should exchange recipes with PB sometime. Refrigerator. Wish we had one of those. Okay, so it wants us to combine things, probably. That and that. That kind of seems right, but I think you're missing a step. So. 
that's sort of right, but not quite. Okay, all right. There's there's an order of operations here. Bam. Look at that. We are puzzling. That's one nice bottle of soapy, bubbly water you made there. Hey! It's one of those bubble board things! I thought that looked familiar! See, this is why we're detectives. So. Pretty sure this guy won't just let us through. Well, I mean, maybe he will. Sorry, fan. We're on lockdown. I can't let you through without official written permission. But what if I... What's this? Banana Guard 182 says it's cool? Oh, I love that guy. He's awesome. If he says you're cool, who am I to stop you? Yep. It's all about who you know. Yo, look at the that. The updraft is blowing these leaves up to the hole in the tree up above us. Hmm. What would happen if I blew bubble? Nice! With that updraft, this bubble will act just like an elevator. That won't work. Whoa. Um, A magic portal that leads to Wizard City. Okay, so that'll be how we get Abrick Daniel out of here, because he'll be vaporized if he tries to walk out the gate. Dude, we can't leave without Abrick Daniel. But what if we did? Okay. Go back down. Don't don't question how that worked. That leads to the dungeon. That must be the guard who has the key. Hey, the princess said you would have the key to the cell. Um, I did, but me and my buddy, he was on the last shift. We were playing catch with the keys, and well, they got stuck on the ledge up there. I get them for you, but I'm kind of new, and I don't start climbing to reach high stuff training until next week. Sorry, Finn. Well, shoot. If only we had some kind of power to, like, stretch and reach up there or something, but... I'm just a human boy. That's a sturdy looking door. Let's punch We're it. gonna need to use the cell key to open the door. What if we I don't think so. No. Quit okay. messing with that. Alright. Sup, dude. Jail does not look like a fun place to be. Finn, Jake, get me out of here! <laughs> use Jake! Wow, why didn't I think of that? Um, there's gotta be a spot to use them though. There we go. I bet Jake could help me out here. Mmm, I don't know. Jake's pretty lazy. He might not feel like it. No, he did. Those are the cell keys. Why would I do that? That's a good question. So I'm just going to not make mention of the shape of this fellow here, but uh, but yeah. Interesting design there. Thanks for getting me out, Finn. I was really afraid that I'd be rotting in that candy prison forever. No problem, man. It's what we do. We knew you weren't guilty. Yeah. But why were you prowling around the Candy Kingdom? It did look kind of shady, what with the missing people and all. I wasn't bothering anybody. All I was doing is looking for my favorite cake plate. I lent it to Peppermint Butler a while ago, but I need it back right away. 
I heard about a really cool wizard party that's about to happen. It's so cool that a whole delegation of people from the Candy Kingdom were brought in as guests. Delegation of candy people? Dude, those are the people who are missing. And somehow, I don't think they're guests at this so-called party. Sounds like some wizards are up to no good. Can't trust oh, them. I guess we all I know really that. didn't think this through. Abraka Daniel, can you take us to the party? Sure, but not without my cake plate. It's bad manners not to bring something, and I'm not putting my famous rainbow fluff cake on just any cake plate. Fine, where is it? I'm not sure. I tried to find it in Peppermint Butler's room, but the place was a mess. I was gonna try Chet's house too, but I didn't get a chance because of, well, being arrested in the hall. Okay, we'll start looking there. The faster we find it, the faster we can get out of here and find those people. Dude, don't forget that PB has the kingdom on lockdown. We'll need to find a way out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Well, as soon as you two find my cake plate and a way to get out of the kingdom, I'll take you to the party. I'll wait for you here. Good luck. Cool. Nice. Aw, yeah. And we've already found our way out. Because we are so awesome at this. Looks like most of the bees are asleep. Hmm, that beehive could be useful. I'm glad this is recorded because you may be 100% right about this. Be gentle, Jake. You don't want to wake up the bees. Uh, the demo ends, like, as soon as you leave with Abraka Daniel, so I actually have no idea where the story ends up going. That's not working. <laughs> Hey, gnomes! I got something for you! Yeah, take this, you chumps. Ah, bees! You... You did this! Prepare to defend yourselves! Combat time. Ah! ah. Chick suit. Right. I can't run or dodge. It, dude, we got tons of loot. Doesn't get much better than that. That's right, that's what heroes do beat people up and take their money.
These paintings really brighten up the room. A book of matches. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just steal things from Chet. What a mess! I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Ooh, it's a note from Peppermint Butler. The note has a picture of a candle holder and says something about a secret room. What secret room? Candle holder in a secret room, huh? No dinner plate. Ever wonder how the houses in the Candy Kingdom don't go stale? So clearly, Peppermint Butler has a secret room, right? I mean, that's, that's just the kind of thing that he would have. Oh, we got these bozos just hanging out in his room still? Starchy. Sup? I'll let you know if I think of anything else. Good luck finding the people we let get kidnapped. gonna work. Oh, matches. I don't think so. Wait, what do you mean you don't think so? Matches. That did exactly nothing. What? Peppermint Butler has good taste in candle holding accessories. Except it's not holding candles. Oh, I need candles. Alright. Where am I gonna find candles? We do, but we can't go back because the Guardians will jack us up. Hey bro, you got any candles? Catch you later! No thanks, I don't want that. Mm. Can't go around him. Go in there. Locked. Yep. Okay. Candles. Check it out. Candles. Eggs. That reminds me. Do we still have a chicken? Um, no, I think she ran away at this point. After her torrid love affair with Bino. Huh, secret room. That's not at all creepy. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, Chet? What's going on? too stunned to talk, man. My investigative mind has figured out what happened. Obviously, Peppermint Butler was kidnapped from this room, and whoever it was didn't care about Chet. So, what were Chet and Peppermint Butler even doing in this creepy room? I don't know, man. They're candy people. I don't get candy people sometimes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, Chet looks pretty comfortable. I guess we should just leave him here. Let's keep investigating. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave him. To be fair, I this was probably Peppermint Butler's doing. I, I don't think that had anything to do with whatever else happened. I don't even want to know why Chet is hanging upside down in his creepy room. Weird book. Kinda Enchiridion-ish. Only creepy. Um, okay. Yeah, let's just, uh, just take this and go. This must be Abracadaniel's cake plate!
I, I would save Chet, but Finn and Jake are kind of not interested in that. I I don't even have an option to cut him down. We're just uh, I'm just gonna let him hang out. He's he's cool. And now you two know that Pet Butt has a secret torture chamber. That's that's fine. We're not gonna worry about that. Here you go, dude. We've got your cake plate, and we know how to get out of here. You ready? Yes! Party time! Um, he knows it's not a party, right? Shh, don't tell him. Look, he's so excited just to be included. <laughs> Alright, so this is all that I've done in this game. I have no idea what's Wizard here. City, here we come! Sweet, sweet magic. I'm not a fan of magic. Here we are! Wizard City! First thing we should do is go to that Ron James guy's shop. He might be able to. Abra Daniel, you are guilty of sharing wizard secrets. No! Wait! I. Uh... <laughs> Wizards only, fools. Uh oh. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, a new weapon, nice. Would you like some tutorial help from your pal, Cuber? Um, yeah, I guess. Sometimes you have to put two things together to make something new that can help you grable your way through a puzzling puzzle. Have you, can you not told items me that before? Jake the same way. Like 15 Sometimes minutes ago. You need to do this when Jake can't grable something on his own. Okay, it's reminding me that I have to combine things with Jake. They've changed Africa Daniel into a stick or a wand or something. Yep, another phallic implement. Uh, that Are makes sense it? for that guy. <laughs> No, nah, man, Cuber's like a cool, nice. That's the crank for the gate. It's missing its handle. Friendly guy. I can't get it from here. All right, let's do some magic of our own. Good thinking. I can use stick Africa Daniel to crank the crank. So we're gonna we're gonna stick that in the hole. Mm-hmm. Mathematical! Nice! You're probably right about that. Hey, hold it, you two! Uh oh, Finn! I don't want to be a stick! Dude, don't we're worry, I'll handle this. totally wizards. Good afternoon, Wizpo dude! What can we do for you? I don't know if anyone's ever mentioned it, but Wizard City is wizards only, fools. I'm gonna have to see proof that you're magical in nature. Stretch, Jake. 
Um, we have a wand. Well, we got this. That's a stick, kid. A stick. You'd better show me something magical pronto. Oh, he's just a stick. Okay. Um, how about well, this? We've got this cake plate. Whoa, that's that's the disc of ultimate wizardry. Only the most powerful wizards in Ooh are allowed to carry it. Oh, good. The disc hasn't been seen since the potluck of the Great Wizard Council a decade ago. Cake plate. Ha! The most powerful wizards always have the best sense of humor. Um, yeah. So, like, we can go in? Of course! The bearer of the disc of ultimate wizardry and his friends are always welcome. Enjoy your stay! Thanks! Come on, Jake. Let's find Ron James's shop and see if he can help us get to the bottom of this kidnapping case. And let's not worry at all about changing Abraka Daniel back. This is cool. Never been to Wizard City before. Hmm. Some kind of staff with a cracked gem on it. Looks kind of dusty. That dust is never going to come off by hand. Hmm. No, uh, I'm gonna be careful I first that. What if I knock it off with the sword? I don't think so. There's more to that hole than meets the eye. Oh my goodness. That's probably accurate. There's a hole! Looks like the one that staff over there is stuck in. Hmm. Nah, in man, there. you shouldn't poke stuff with that. It's Abraka Daniel, dude. Dude, you just Okay, whatever. I wonder why somebody would leave a brand new mop laying around. Yoink. Got it. A lot of notes here. Too much work to read all of them. Yeah, screw reading. We're not here for that. Oh. That is some nasty, sticky slime. Ew, why did you pick that up? It's an adventure, man. You pretty much have to pick up everything. Finn gets it. <laughs> it fits, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, see, this game is, is good about... <laughs> yeah, it, it's very good with uh, character consistency. Oh, it's Flambeau. Alright. Um, kind of want to... Uh-oh. Explore before we do things we're supposed to do. Oh man, it's getting real here. So you can dodge cancel out of attacks, which is nice. Got some high-level mechanics here. It's basically Dark Souls. Combat awesomeness. Check out all the dosh we got. <laughs> yeah, we kicked some serious booty. Can't wait to go home and see all our massive loot. Hey, dude. <laughs> you stink. Can we just kick your butt? Wizards drool. <laughs> <laughs> graffiti cleaner is not in my job description. Yeah, especially true graffiti. I bet Jake could help me out here. What? Okay. <laughs> you stink! Jake could probably help me with this. Okay. Losers! Oh, just to get down? I really want to, like, get that guy who's talking trash. Nah, nah. Uh, we may not have a thing to... <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, I see what we're doing. <laughs> you stink! 
Bro, you're gonna get it. Losers! That guy's never gonna let us get to that bucket of paint. Why get would him, I do Jake. that? Um, smack him with the nah, sword. I don't want to kill the gnome. I do. Give it up, man. That's not working. Oh man. Um, behold. Alright, we're gonna need something else. Yeah, yeah. I want so badly to kill him now. <laughs> but Finn and his code of honor. You stink! I mean, he's being verbally Losers. aggressive, but not physically aggressive. Um, all right. What's up with you? It's Rock Wizard. Uh huh. Sup, Rock Wizard? Ah, hey, no cutting in line. Chill, man. We're just talking. Why are you standing in line? Rod James only sees one person at a time, and the guy who's in there now has been here all day. So, what do you need from Ron James? Some mysterious amulet of power? Fire breathing potion? Cool new wand? Skin moisturizer? Well, I'm just saying. Actually, I am here for a potion that will let me grow a beard. Come again now? Oh, dude, of the best I want one of those. Have impressive beards. I want an impressive black beard that will be the envy of wizards. Far and wide. So, if Jake and I get you a beard, you'd let us take your spot in line? Ha <laughs> ha! Certainly! But impressive black beards don't just fall out of the sky. If you stand around waiting for one, I know. I've tried that. Don't sweat it, Rock Wizard. We'll find you that beard. Come on, Finn. A vending machine that sells crowbars. Weird. It won't work without money. Oh, money? But we don't have any money anymore. Except for all the money that we've been getting for beating people up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jake, I know you have no problem stealing. That won't work. Fake money. It should be like gold and jewels and stuff. Hmm. Somebody be... left a perfectly good bottle up there. Jake won't want to touch that used bottle, and he can't put me on the scaffolding. It's too weak to hold my weight. You could ask him. Nah, I don't think so. Not gonna work. Hmm. Kind of dangerous to leave that boulder hanging around. Hmm. Boulder. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Alright, so what do we. Ah, okay. Wow, that pile of bricks up there looks heavy. That scaffolding won't hold me plus all the weight that's on it. What do we do? Why would I do that? I don't know. I don't know why we would do anything. Hmm. So we need a beard for this guy. Can we talk to these other people? Or are we gonna have to go one by one? One at a time. That bugs! Who knows how long we'll be waiting in line? We need to find a way to get this line moving. Hmm. Okay, chat. Ideas.
Hoth looks like a flowing white beard, which we need to paint, but we've got to get by that gnome. Sticky slime. Kill the gnome. I so wish that I could. What if we like combine Jake with some gunk? Dude, those things totally don't go together. <laughs> what if we combine Africa Daniel stick with gunk? Those things don't work together. Are you sure? We have to get by the gnome somehow. Man, can't Jake just like beat this guy up? Hey! A bucket of black paint! We can use that! That gnome is in the way! That won't work! That did exactly nothing. I'll probably just knock the paint over. That's fine. I don't think so. <laughs> I can't get it! Dang it. Rope. Never know when you might need some rope. Oh, the rope! Losers! I was too close to that, I didn't realize. Okay. Nah, nah. So we used the rope with something. You think maybe over at the other place? Pulling or knocking. <laughs> well, Finn said he didn't want to do that, but. That's not try. working. Losers! No, it won't let me use the mop on it. You're getting owned <laughs> by a gnome! Gnome owned! Oh, you're gonna get it, dude. You're gonna get it. Just you wait, gnome. Finn's a righteous dude. You can't just kill people. Nah, I don't think so. What if I... Quit messing with that. Uh, maybe I can combine that with Jake? Because he doesn't want to touch the bobble, but he could like... Those things can't be combined. No. Can I just like lasso that it? That won't work! Mm. Sadly, we can't kill him, but maybe we can lasso him. I mean, it's not as fun as hanging, but it might still work. Losers! No, it was just those couple of spots. I don't think so. What? That did exactly nothing. Dang it. You stink! Man. Losers! I think Jake would just mess this guy up. Nah, nah. Yo, use the rope. Not gonna work. Mm. <laughs> Bollocks. It's gotta be something over here, right? So I have this spot right here. I've got this spot, and this spot is just a to leave that boulder hanging around. look at stuff spot. Oh, holy crap! You're right. Oh, the scaffolding would fall if we took out the support. Oh, you're totally right. How did if I? If I try that? that, the scaffold will land on me. But if I, yep. See, this is why I need you here with me. Thanks, Jack. Check it out. It's a gem. A gem, huh? No way you're prying that gem out by hand, dude. Why would I do that? Absolutely. Pure yin. Yes. Um, That's not what it. swords are for. Yeah, but how do we get the crowbar? That ain't working, dude. 
We might be able to change Abrick Daniel back. I don't want to break him in half. Glad we weren't under those when they fell. Are we seriously just gonna bust it with a I think I think we're about to do something awesome. Shut up, man. Aww. I was really hoping. That won't work. That did exactly nothing. We're gonna have to throw a brick at this gnome. This might turn out okay after all. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. We could go back and talk to him. Owned by a gnome. Gnome owned. Yo, take this. Sorry about this in advance. Cool, man. Just take the paint. I'm out of here. I kind of feel bad about that. Oh well. At least we can take the paint now. So we were worried about killing him. Therefore, we chucked a brick at him. I got it. Okay, okay, we're still solving puzzles that's in Jake way. And now we have a beard. That's a great idea! Painting the mop head black makes it look like a beard! And we could still have a nice mop handle we can use for other stuff. Yes, not that kind of game. Hey, buddy. I got something for you. Here you go, Rock Wizard. The finest beard in all of you. That is indeed impressive. But it will never stick to my rocky visage. Hmm. Yeah, didn't think of that. Don't worry, Rock Wizard. We'll find a way to stick this thing to that chiseled mug of yours. Excellent. I'll just wait here until you return. Okay. Good We're making idea. progress. The slime will make the beard stick to Rock Wizard's face. Puzzle God. Okay, Rock Wizard, try this baby on for size. Oh, my glob. This is truly the most impressive beard in all of Ooh. It is a good looking beard. And it beard. smells of sweet, clean soap and freshly painted works of art. Then, please take this wizard coin. I was going to spend yeah. it on my beard potion, but this is so much better. Thank you. Always happy to help. See ya. Yeah, sweet. Okay. We'll talk to that guy, but first... Crowbar? That'll come in handy. It's all about puzzle card now. It's not too late to change it. And you were 100% right about the magic money. Which is good, because now I can keep my non-magical money. Eye-sized gem. Wonder if that will come in handy. This guy looks like he could use some help. Hey man, so what you doing? Waiting in line? Huh? Who goes there? Wizards only. Where are you? So let me guess. You're waiting in line to get a replacement for that cracked eye of yours. Yeah, I can't see a thing. Ron James has the best replacement eye gems. But I've been standing in this line for hours. That guy in there is taking forever. Well, me and Jake would be happy to help. Helping is what we do. Really? 
Oh, that would be great. Then I could get back to work turning non-wizards into sticks. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask. Why do you guys do that? That's classified, and a wizard would know the answer. You're not a non-wizard, are you? Because if you are... Um, we were just testing you. You passed. We'll get to looking for that gem. Oh, sorry. We'll see what we can find. Oh, man, I did it again. Um, we'll just go. Wait here. <laughs> All right. We are ahead of the game. Here you go, dude. Try this on for size. Hey, I can see again. Non-wizards beware. Here, you can have the cracked eye gem. I don't need it anymore. Cool, thanks. All right. Cool. Quit staring at Flambo, Finn. It looks like you're making him uncomfortable. Hey, buddy. Hey, Flambo. What are you waiting in line for? Hey, gotta go to the little Flambo's room, know what I mean? Man, do I gotta go. Jeez, that's rough, man. What's the holdup in there? There's some kind of private meeting. It's been hours. My teeth are floating, if you know what I mean. Isn't there someplace else you can go? Ron Jenks has the only public restroom in town. All the rest of them hoity-toity private VIP magical restrooms. You need a staff of relief to find one, and good luck finding one of those. Don't worry, Flambeau. We'll take care of it. Come on, Jake. Yeah, VIP magical bathroom time. Puzzle God Brain activate. Kinda makes an impressive staff, if I do say so. Schmelza! That worked, but what does it do? Alright, what else do we have? Gotta, like, clean this gunky thing That off. dust has been there a long time. You're gonna need a dusting brush or something to clean that thing. Do we have anything for that? Still can't do anything with this. So maybe we can further interact with this magic thing. The staff belongs there, Finn. Don't mess with it. Yup, that's where that staff was meant to be. That staff would probably make some pretty light beams if somebody took the time to dust the thing. Hey, you. Dust the thing. Enjoy your stay in Wizard City, your powerfulness. Dang it. Glob, darn it. If only you had a magical, stretchy friend to help you out right about now. If only. Looks like the phone is out of order. Now the machine is selling one of those fancy magic dusting brushes. Oh, that's convenient. Too much! A magic brush! We can dust stuff now. Okay. Oh, what's in there and now? And now it sells cola. Wizard vending machines are crazy. Oh, I want the cola. Guys, I want the cola. Check it out. When the light reflected through both the staffs, the hidden magical VIP bathroom Flambo told us about appeared. Let's go tell him we found it. Can we go in? I want a to bathroom go with a hidden door. Doesn't seem like a great idea. I don't have to go right now. I do. Finn, not now. I'm trying to concentrate. It's okay, man. We found the VIP bathroom. It's I'm over always there by the thirsty. Finn, Jake, I owe you one. Gotta go, bye. Well, that's one less person in line. Algebraic! Nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, look at us. Nobody in line now, dude. We should just go in. Yeah, that's probably like the most pristine bathroom ever. I bet there's a couch in there. Ooh. Yeah, Ice King. so I'm invited to the wizard. Oh, no wonder he's been here all day. This guy just probably giving this shop owner all kinds of wizard trouble. rope. Nice. Ice King, come on, man. Ron James has got some cool stuff in here. Come on, bra. I've got a line of customers waiting. Can't hang later. Um, Ice King hasn't noticed us yet, so. Oh, <gasps> I think I've seen this snail before. So we've got to be on the lookout for him in every mission. Great prices. We don't need any of this stuff. <gasps> I think we need all of this stuff. Gunter. Check it out. It's Gunter. Hey, Gunter, come hang with us for a while. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to steal him. Um, man, I, I want to avoid talking to Ice King. It's one customer at a time, yo. But since y'alls are here, let me know if you need anything. Why do magic potion bottles always look so tempting? Should we do it? Hey, quit messing with my potion bottles! I had to know. Waza, wizard bras! Need something magical? Or y'all's here to recycle bottles? Recycle bottles? Yeah, brah. We're trying to go green. I use a lot of bottles. You get one wizard coin for each bottle you bring in for recycling. Ah. That sounds like a deal, dude. Bring me a bottle and we can do business. I will get the cola. Hey, quit staring at me. It's weird, man. Ice King? You're the one who's been holding up the line? He's been here for eight hours. Really? Wow. Time sure flies when you're having fun hanging with your wizard bros. I'm seriously rethinking my one customer at a time policy. It kind of is a silly policy. Ice King, who invited you to this wizard party? Well, I kind of invited myself, but an invitation's an invitation, right? We got to get into that party, man. It's a matter of life or death. Kind of. We're investigating a kidnapping. Hey, sounds exciting. This party's kinda on the down low, but hey, we're all bros, so I can maybe take you guys as my plus two. Well, that's awesome. Thanks, Ice King. Hmm. There's just one thing. Everybody's supposed to bring snacks. Old Ron here can really talk your ear off, so I haven't had time to get any. Bring back a few good party snacks and we'll head on over. You got it, Ice King. Come on, Jake. It's snack time. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep. I know why we have him now. It's all coming together. <gasps> hey. Hey, Jake. Huntress Wizard has a bag of potato chips. That'd be a great snack to take to the Ice King. Oh, I just wanted to talk to her. Um, Huntress Wizard? <sighs> what do you want? Nothing. That is, um, we were wondering... We want your bag of chips! What? No way, I'm hungry. Tell you what, if you want my chips, you better get me a snack. Like a pizza with anchovies or something. No prob! So, where's the pizza shop? There isn't one. Just order delivery from Sassy's in the Candy Kingdom. Number's on the notice board right there. Oh, word. We'll check it out. Thanks, Huntress Wizard. Whatever, Donkus. You'll come around, Huntress Wizard. You'll come around. <laughs> yeah, go, Gunter! Get the bottle for us! Yeah, wait! Don't smash it! 
Oh, man! Come on. Dang it. Great, now the wizard police are coming. Thanks a lot, Gunter. We should have known. Miss me! To be fair, we should have known. <laughs> I like this one because I don't have to do anything. I just yeah, move around. I think our work here is done. This is about all the treasure we can carry. Well, maybe we can do something. At least the bottom of the bottle is mostly okay. Wizard's arrow landed right on the phone number to a pizza place. Phone number to a pizza place. Nice. Nice. But this is all busted up. Look, the phone's fixed. One wizard oh. point per call. Nice. But we don't have any more wizard. Oh, wait, we do. Okay. Going back. Cool. Satchy's Candy Kingdom Pizza, home of the sweetest pies in the room. Hey, I want to order three cheese pizzas. Oh, and one with anchovies. I can't believe Huntress Wizard wants anchovies. Gross. It's not like you're eating it, man. You got it. We'll be right over. Here's your pizza, guys. Whoa, that's some fast service. Thanks. Hey, Wizards only pizza fool. Wait, I was just... Oh, what? Have a nice day, gentlemen. Hmm. Well, the important thing is, we got our pizza. That's true. The wizard police turned the pizza guy into a hook staff. I smell anchovies. No way. You actually got me pizza? Complete with anchovies. Just like you wanted. Yeah. Now how about you hand over the chips? Sure. No prob. Pizza beats chips any day. That's all right, we got the pizza. At the end of the day, what we want is what really matters. Because, you know, we're heroes. And we're doing hero stuff. Chips are always a great party snack. Looks like somebody's already been eating them, but well, what the hey? Beggars can't be choosers. That's, That's a right. great start, but we should probably bring more. What? Ice King not be concerned about bringing more. Have some pizzas. I wanted them. Pizza! You can that's have great! Them. Why didn't I think of that? Great! One more snack ought to put us over the top and really impress them. Um, will you accept this? Hey, what the hey? I only pay for whole bottles. This is missing the top half. Dang it. Uh. Oh, 
but we're out of coins. That's not working. The machine's selling cola now. We gotta get one of these machines for home, Finn. You need a coin. Haven't you figured this out yet? Just wanna break it. Not gonna work. Where am I gonna get a coin? Maybe we'll check on Chet or uh, Flambeau. Magical hidden bathroom. Wizards are weird. Don't go in there, man. Magic bathrooms are bad news. I'll never trust a magic bathroom again. All right. Well, shoot. I don't have anything else to say. You got what you want. I got what I want. Now get lost. Cooking something. Is there anything over here that we might be able to hook? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's an impressive beard you got there, Rock Wizard. Hand it over and nobody gets hurt! No, not my new beard. Please, anything but that. Why would you even want it? That ain't none of your business. Now hand it over. I ain't asking again. Hey, no! Leave Rock Wizard's impressive beard alone! Rock Wizard out. All right, let's do this. You guys are butts. Get wrecked. Our work here is done. This is about all the treasure we can carry. Nice. New sword. And top of the broken bottle. But we're out of goo. How we're gonna make this stuff stick together. Whatever was in these bottles was sticky enough to stick the pieces together and make a whole bottle. Bet nobody even noticed the cracks. Okay, sure. We we will go with that. A bottle! Nice! 
Here you go, bros. One wizard coin. Have a good one. Oh man, the bottle of cola is stuck. I hate vending machines. You got the cola. Nice. Cola, chips, and pizza. That ought to do it. Meet me back here at nightfall. That's when the party's supposed to start. Cool. Awesome. All right, Ice King. We're here. Where's the party? Right. Oh, hey, guys. Party. The party's downstairs in the secret society hall. There's a secret door that leads to it. It's really cool. Now, all we need to do is find it and figure out how to open it. You guys should get on that. Aw, oh, man! Dang it, Ice King. Aw. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll, I'll make sure the recording's up somewhere so you guys can see the rest if you're so inclined later. I guess Ice King isn't going to help us find the door. Fire! Cozy. Good night. Ow! Yeah, we're touching all the hot things in this playthrough. I don't think so. And we're not gonna kill Africa Daniel. Alright. That did exactly nothing. Great prices, but we don't need any of this stuff. Oh, come on, Finn. We need everything. Why do magic potion bottles always look so tempting? Coffins are creepy. Tiny ones are the creepiest. Probably a good call that we can't open that. I wonder if magic toast tastes better than regular toast. Why do magic potion bottles always look so tempting? What does it do? Okay, there's gonna be a puzzle with that. My my puzzle sense is tingling. Some kind of old wooden rod. They sure like sticks in this town. Old rod. Why do magic potion bottles always look so tempting? I don't think I want to know where Ron James gets all these skulls. Magic helmets. Wonder where he keeps the spears. It's a valve for water pipes and steam pipes and stuff. I probably shouldn't turn it. I don't know what it does. Oh, Finn. Where's your sense of adventure? We should get an alligator head for the treehouse. It'd go with our decor. Okay. Wonder what Ron James did with the rest of that bear. I guess we know where to go if we need to buy a skull. So we can't get behind there. Looks like somebody just put these candles out. Okay, light the candles. It's not going to burn long enough to be a decent torch. Uh. Alright, so what do we do with it then? There's something strange about this bookcase. What do we do to make it a decent torch?
dusty lamps full of oil. Oil, okay. That's what that is. Perfect. You'll get oil all over your hands if you do that. Now that it's covered in oil, that rod will make a great torch. As is tradition, we're going to do everything wrong before we do the right thing. Hmm. Torch. Mathematical! Sweet! Oh, so those are the only candles we're gonna light. Okay. Yo, ice cube. All right, he's way ahead of us. That manhole cover looks heavy. Not too heavy for Finn Merton. Prisoners only, fools. Guess we found the jail. That won't budge. It's locked. Let's hit it with a manhole. Cover. Nah, I don't think so. Let's hit it with a sword. I'm messing with that. All right. They should put some of these rugs down on the floor. It'd make it a little more homey in here. Hmm. Thought you said we'd be tapping into some sweet, sweet magic. Give it time. We've got to try them all. We tried all of them, except for the peppermint one. I think we got played again, man. Maybe there isn't any sweet magic. Hmm. What are you up to? I wonder if that pole chain has something to do with the door. Hmm. I have to get closer to reach that chain. Okay. I know what to do, but let's talk to Ice King first. Wow, he got down here fast. Sure did. And it moves me out of range of him. It's a weird thing I've noticed. Sometimes it'll do that, and then you've got to, like walk to them again. Oh, that's weird. The door's locked. Who locks the door during a party? Well, considering you weren't invited. It's locked. Oh, all right. We'll do the thing. No way. I'm just not tall enough to reach the chain. Darn it. Jake's too short. You need something to hook the chain with. Um, use that. That won't work. Did something move in there? Chick. Yeah. Wow. Wizards sure collect a lot of junk. Alright, so we need something to hook. This place needs electricity. These candles don't do much to dispel the gloom down here. Yeah, lizards and candles. Alright, well, let's go down. More weird pipes. It's a toolbox. Wrench. Is that more goop? Yeah. These guys don't know any cleaning spells. Hmm. This grate is blocking the tunnel. There must be a way to open it. That was easy. I guess this valve wheel thing will come in handy for something. Should I have turned that first? 
I'm sure it's fine. Pit. There's going to be a spot around here to... Attach that. Oh. That hook looks loose. Yeah, I totally missed that. Not a bad idea, but I can't reach far enough to hook the chain. Shall I use the magic of combining things? Great! I should be able to grab the chain with this hook. You could probably reach the chain if you were more stretchy. Got it! Now the door should be unlocked. I'll just go inside and smooth things over. You guys hang here. Hey guys, I'm here for the party! What's happening? Some good whiz-biz? Ice King, what the blood? We didn't invite you! Really? I thought my invite got lost in the mail or something. Hey, let's talk over here. I got some bros outside. I don't want them to get all weirded out. Apparently, we need to have a chat about what secret meeting means. Again. Get over here. Uh, sure. Hang on for a sec. Sorry, guys. Wizards only. My bad. See ya. What? Ice King. I thought we were bros. Ice King, for the last time. Stop messing around in our wizard biz. Aw, but I just want to party with you guys. There is no party. Now, be quiet so we can concentrate. Yeah, remember what happened last time we messed up? Oh, all right. Man, tough room. Now, where were we? Right. Incantation. Then, we get Bufo's wand and pull the sweet, sweet magic out of the peppermint guy. What? <laughs> That... Oh, Jake. Uh, hey, guys, I want to help. Us. They locked up Ice King in a cage. They really don't like him. Oh, come on. This isn't fair. Well, I guess we're just gonna walk around and not be noticed. That's cool. I promise I'll be really quiet. Forest Wizard, Laser Wizard, and Bufo are about to get down to some serious whizbits. Well, this is who knows what kind of stuff they're doing at Peppermint Butler. Wizard stuff. Cool. That elevator just doesn't look safe. Yikes! What's that all about? Uh, I want to see it more closely. That's Bufo's wand, the one they're using for the ceremony. We should swap it out with one that won't work. The wand case is locked. Dang it. That's not working. I'm not hitting that with my sword. Give it up, man. Oh, all right. Look at all the wands. They must use a different one for every ritual. We can't get any of those wands. If we need a wand, we'll have to find a substitute. All right, all right. Check it out. This rope must hold up Ice King's cage. No way you're untying those knots. Those are wizard knots. Hmm. Have that. <laughs> Thanks for letting me loose, guys. What are we doing? More magic? Come on, Jake. The wizards are distracted. Okay. Yeah, let's get to that wand stand before they notice we're here. Yeah, but how are we going hey, to Hey, guys. It? Thanks for letting me down. I don't have a way to get it. Well, is somebody gonna put him back? The wand case is locked. 
Jake, can't you use key hand? Why would I do that? Mm. Oh, come on, guys. Don't fight over me. There's plenty of me to go around. We're all just best bros here, right? We are not bros, bro. You just keep showing up and putting a chill on our whiz biz. You could hang around for a thousand years and we still wouldn't be bros. Well, what about after that? Because, you know, I, I got time. Okay. You must be missing something somewhere. The question is what and where. Nah, I don't think so. Oh look, man, I'm just trying to think outside the box. That ain't working, dude. Definitely locked. Hmm, no guard on duty. That's probably for the best. Okay, I need to know if I should have turned this before I removed it. Quit messing with it, dude. You got what you needed. Okay. I had to know. Okay, what did I miss down here? This grate is blocking the tunnel. There must be a way to open it. It's as simple as... no. Alright, I can't mess with that. You ever get the feeling there's more to these snails than meets the eye? I'm sure it's fine. There it is. It's like a glove. It's loose. It's loose. I think you have to tighten it first. Ah. Uh, there, nice and tight. Multiple steps. Hey, the sewer grate at the other end of the path is opening. All right. Awesome. Oh yeah. Ah, a shortcut. Okay, what else we got going around here? A chest. Interesting. Loot. Yikes! Bah, that's not loot. Jake, look! We found the kidnapped candy people! What's up, candy peeps? It's Finn and Jake! They come to rescue us! Heck yeah! Yep! Finn and Jake investigations to the rescue! It's what we do! Uh, okay, let's start with what happened. What happened to you guys? The wizards came to our homes and said there was an exclusive party in Wizard City that we were invited to. When we got here, they locked us in this cell. Between you and me, I don't think there's really a party. Um, you yeah, don't say. I knew. Do you know what, what they, do they want with you? They say they want our sweet, sweet magic, some dark, strange power they detected in the Candy Kingdom. One by one, they've taken us to their ritual chamber and subjected us to all sorts of weird tests. Where are the wizards now? They took Peppermint Butler to the ritual chamber for testing. He's the only one they haven't tested yet. He looked very nervous. You have to save him. Yeah, if anyone's got power, then it's, it's Peppermint Butler. Do you know where they keep the key to the cell? They keep their keys on them at all times. One of the Marshmallow Kids managed to grab one, but it's not the right key. Here, you take it. Hey, wait. Why is Slime Princess here? She's not a candy person. Yeah. 
She was visiting the kingdom when the kidnappings took place. To be fair, she does look a bit like a jelly bean. Huh, yeah, I guess she does. Don't you worry, Mr. Cream Puff. Me and Jake will defeat those wizards and get all you guys out of here and back to your homes. Thanks, Finn and Jake. We'll just wait here. Um, not that we have a choice. I didn't even know this slime princess back there. She looks like she's doing pretty well, though. She's kind of used to this sort of thing. Is that supposed to be food? Wizard laundry. Yuck! Hmm. Words. Not very important ones. Moving on. Let's not take the elevator. We can use the exercise. Okay, well we have a key now. Would someone please put him back in his cage? Ice King is distracting them. Now's our chance to get to the wand stand. Yeah, let's swap the wands before they see us. Hmm, yeah, nothing to see over here. All right, now let's swap out the wands. I can't just take Bufo's wand. I have to replace it with something. Oh, I know, I was going to take it first. Fine. I'll put him in the cage. Aw, I'm starting to think you guys don't want me around. Now where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Bufo, your wand. Yes, time to extract the sweet, sweet magic. <laughs> Stop talking about magic. Standing right above. there. Very focused on this incantation. Yowza! Whoa, that worked a lot better than I expected. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Hey, Abraka Daniel, you okay? Yes, I, I, I think so. Hey, I've still got your cake plate. Turns out it's some kind of disc thing that proves you're a super powerful wizard. I guess it's good for cakes too, though. Keep it. I've already proven I'm a super powerful wizard. Look nice. at what I've done. I saved the day with my awesome magic. Is this um, true? actually, dude, you're a stick, and nah, man, let him have this one. Let's wrap this case up. Ice King, search the wizard for the keys and let the candy people out of the dungeon. Me and Jake will make sure the exit's clear. We're free. I was gonna let. Daniel's Thank you, Freedom, that. Jake. Thank you. See you guys later. Well, Jake, I'd say that's a successful end to our first case. You said it. You're gonna have to be one smart kidnapper to escape the justice of Finn and Jake investigations. Later, Ice King. Bye, guys. Great party. Nice. Mission complete. I wanted to talk to that, but. <laughs> Check it out! There's a new case on the ticker type. Let's grab it and get started. Looks like Bemo's trying to build a new record player. Speaking of Bemo. Good old Bemo. Good old Bemo. Okay, I think that's about it for tonight. It's just kind of a uh, a test stream to see how it goes. So if there is someone lurking, uh, thanks for stopping by probably do another one of these sometime and my plan is to put this up on like YouTube or something and maybe 
people will find it because it's unlikely that anyone's gonna notice this otherwise and they you know may never but uh just wanted to kind of do something different get this streaming thing a test um thank you friends for hanging out with me earlier and i'll catch you guys later